that's the highest and best use of, of the money. Council Member Landis. Well, I appreciated the remarks about defining different shopping areas because, I, I mean, I, I'm just interested in seeing this wayfinding encourage people to use our downtown for shopping. I mean, in addition to finding their way to other things, that's important, but the shopping aspect will help everybody here. It's how sh shopping local will benefit us because if people are coming here and they decide they're going to shop local here, we'll get the revenue. So um, I, I would suggest that some of the more generic signs be s more special, become more specialized in the first run. You know, not just say shopping, but say something about the character or the, the neighborhood that you're going to think about defining, I I that you're pointing to. And that maybe if there are extra spaces in some of these signs that you don't have, um, you know, uh, something in mind to put on it that you let businesses buy in. Mm -hmm. There may be some, I mean, I'm thinking particularly of Tierra only because I know that location and the issues that came up with the sandwich signs on the Planning Commission. Th they, need, they need somebody to know their way down there. And if they could have an opportunity to buy into something like this to promote their business, they might be interested in it. So I'd like to leave that be an option even early on. There's lots of room. These signs have two sides, and I think there's a lot of opportunities. Councilmember Rudd. Well, it's fortuitous that you're going to be on Main Street. Because <laughs> you could right. be on the subcommittee. That's right. And I could help with this. Yeah. Uh, question, are, are we going to create resentment or problems with other shopping centers? For example, if there's a sign that says shopping uh, somewhere near what the uh, parking lot near the library, for example, that points an arrow towards Main Street, towards School Street, th uh, will that cause uh, hostility from the people who uh, own businesses in the Pear, Pear Street, Pear Tree Center? Tree Center. I'm 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 really n don't know how to assess that question. Sorry. You know, uh, this is a very specific assigned program. It says historic downtown. Um, it's a, a well understood uh, district within our community. Uh, one would hope uh, that their only complaint was that we need signs of this quality and um, near us. And that um, uh, even with all the doom and gloom of the finances, which we have heard all night long, uh, possibly in another two or three years, we'll be able to come and ask for another five signs in our community because there's so much demand because these have been so successful. So let's hope it's that kind of complaint and the complaint would be, we would like a sign too. So you're arguing for uniformity. If, if uh, I, could, I open a business and can buy in for a thousand bucks, you would expect my sign to be the same burgundy color as all the others, I would assume. Uh, well, the post would be the burgundy. The sign uh, would either be off-white or possibly uh, uh, with brown writing or vice versa. Uh, no, you would uh, get the same, same sign as anyone else. You might be able to customize it by text or possible small logo, but we'll cross that bridge when it comes up. See, hmm. yeah, I'm an old fuddy-duddy who thinks we, we, the, tur the most touristy places on, on, on Earth are the ones where the architecture and the signage is, is the most uniform, so I agree with you. Oh, you don't, okay, so you're not a, a fan of being too tasteful. Not multicolor, <laughs> I'm not a, yeah, that wouldn't bother me if you're overly well, tasteful. Well, you know, um, other than the fact that we've, uh, people have told us they thought the Hillsburg signs were tacky, we've heard both sides of the argument, we're just looking for a middle ground here. Uh, that, and, at, uh, yeah. and at some point, we will be able to have a sign that says uh, historic fish hatchery um, and <laughs> a tra rail trail. Yes. That's right. At, yes, at, people at, looking for more of these signs, not less. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Further public comment? John Graff speaking for the Employers Council of Mendocino County representing 200 members and some 3,500 employees. Um, I think this is one of the better uses that I've seen staff and, and other people bring forward for the use of RDA money. And I, you know, I don't think it's the perfect thing, but um, 
we believe, and, and I want to um, maybe direct this towards Ben Thomas, that we want to see the best use, and, we, and I think uh, we were quoted a while ago by saying misuse, and we want to see the best use of the money, and I think this is a good place to spend RDA money, and I would encourage you to move forward on it. Further discussion? Further questions for staff? If not, is there any interest in action? Move approval. Second. Oh. Uh, who got there? Uh, was, I, I didn't say a thing. I, I slid in, I think. <laughs> That's my first second. vote. I mean, uh, my uh, first second. Any further discussion? I it. <laughs> Roll call. Commissioner Landis. Yes. Thomas. Aye. Crane. Aye. Roden. Yes. Chairperson Baldwin. Yes. Uh, item 7B, review and consider funding and if applicable, authorize the executive director to negotiate and execute a contract with Economic Development Finance Corporation, EDFC, for economic development services. The uh, Ukiah Redevelopment Agency has received a request from EDFC for funding in the amount of $10,000. Um, both the City of Ukiah and the Ukiah Redevelopment Agency has used the services of EDFC for many years here in the city uh, for economic development activities for small businesses. Uh, this request is for the renewal of their annual services contract with the uh, URA. Pardon me? I heard somebody move approval. <laughs> Is there a second? Uh, discussion. Well, you can have a second first. Second. Now, a discussion. Um, there's a reference in the, uh, in the first attachment, uh, scope of services, to uh, quarterly reports to the city regarding activities and services provided. At the point that we're being asked for funding, uh, it might really be um, nice, not necessarily this time, I will, I will approve the recommended action, but uh, to have uh, those in conjunction or at the time that uh, a request for funding comes to us, uh, one of the attachments be the, the latest quarterly report. Mm. Okay. Mm. Further discussion? A roll call. Oh, excuse me. Any further public comment? Roll call. Commissioner Landis. Yes. Thomas. Aye. Crane. Aye. Roden. Yes. Chairperson Baldwin. Yes. I uh, believe that concludes the uh, items for the redevelopment agency. We are adjourned. Oh, are there any commissioner reports? Executive director reports. Uh, we are adjourned uh, as I, a redevelopment. My question about Mr. Trotter's presence, he probably didn't come here for fun. No. Who? Well, I'm, so, yeah. but I guess oh, it's up to him to speak yeah, up. Yeah, really. It's, 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 it's because somebody is in the audience that you know. It's already on. I bet you it's on. It's on. Yeah. Now, on the 21st. <laughs> I would have loved to do it tonight because she's not going to be in town now. Be careful, be careful. I didn't get to it sooner. Oh, you know it's not a done deal. Because John, well, <laughs> I'll talk to you about that controversy later. <laughs> the process. The what? I'll talk to you about the process. Okay. I didn't the get planning um, commission a copy later. of the letter I thought you from, had, everybody uh, votes uh, on it, I know. Sanitation district. I don't think they should. Who did? But, oh. Yeah, I, I thought, thought it was, was interesting too. I, it seems John like didn't like that, so it was changed to be voted on. Oh. I thought he said he by, said your, all of by you the expression on your faces, it looks like you got it. But he said it. He did say that. Oh, yeah.